12,425 pounds. A good new floor plane making its way into the North Point lineup here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is the new 310 RLS, and this is something that I, I feel was like really missing from their lineup. Like it seemed odd that it wasn't there, but they've really done a good job on this layout. It's a common floor plan. Almost every manufacturer builds it, but they have put together one heck of a version. It's, it's just classy. It is just a classy luxury couples camper with a full-time RV warranty, ideal for towers and goers. Now, I think, personally, I'm, I'm going to call this like one of the best traveler's north points out there. If you want to be a full-time tower and goer, the size of this, close to that 35-foot mark, is ideal for towing. And there's also a magic little thing about that 35-foot mark. It will basically cause the tires of this trailer to pretty much mirror the tire wipes of your vehicle. You also see that you can sneak through the slide fascia like I just did and you can get to this uh, refrigerator. You can obviously get to the entire freezer, but note how there's no like center divider in the fridge. So if you have to reach around there to grab something real quick for transit, you can. So just kind of pan on, or pan on, plan on how you pack the refrigerator and you're gonna be good for stops. But then when you open her up, holy cow, man, does she open up for real plus that newer, lighter, brighter, modern farmhouse decor previously found in the Eagles, now found almost everywhere at Jayco, makes it look and feel even bigger. That vaulted ceiling and those accent lights also making it look and feel larger in here. You won't see the air conditioner, however. That's a whisper ducted air system, which allows them to kind of place things like that cool ceiling uh, light fixture with the accent lighting and that ceiling fan up there kind of unimpeded. And as long as we're looking up here, might as well mention that uh, Max Air Ceiling Vent Fan, complete with wall control switch and rain sensor. You'll find the same thing in the bathroom as well. Um, the hardwood slide fascia really shines up nice in that light. And I tell you, the advances North Point has made the past couple of years, they, they're they absolutely fantastic. They've, they've earned my confidence, you know. We had, we've dove right into the North Point business this year. Um, they do a lot of things very similar to most luxury fifth wheels in this segment of the marketplace, and I think that makes sense. There's certain things you just gotta do, like the big refrigerators, the solid surface counter. So I don't wanna talk a lot about those things. I wanna talk about the things that are kind of North Point specific, you know? Not the stuff that's 97% the same, the stuff that's 3% different, you know? So theater seat here, Heat massage, very cool. USB plugs, very cool. That's normal stuff though. Directly across from the entertainment center. Now that sounds normal, but you're not seeing the TV currently. And that's a very Jayco thing. You either love it or you hate it. I don't know. But um, if you notice, what they've kind of done here is, especially with the color contrast of the modern farmhouse, there's a very clear definition of kitchen versus entertainment. But above that electric space heating fireplace and Bluetooth speaker, you have either an extra sort of serving station, best for non-liquid stuff, by the way, because you don't want to spill something and have it slip down here into this easy lift hidden ultra high def television. That is cool. Now it is directly across from at a no neck wrecker uh, angle from our primary theater seating space. With this being a couple's rig, I do suspect that's where most people are going to spend most of their time. Now, these are a little bit taller than most luxury fifth wheels uh, out here. Like, they're a little bit taller ceiling across the back than a Montana. They're not necessarily taller overall, but they don't taper down in the back like a lot of other things. And that does mean it might be slightly heavier. It might be slightly more costly, but it also has a larger feeling with bigger rear uh, upper cabinet storage. You have blackout roller night shades all the way around here. That is a tri-fold sleeper sofa, by the way, and a large one. Two adults could very easily spend some time there. What's also kind of cool is both sides of the sofa have these handy little side stands, complete with sealed edge thermal foil counters, which is actually the same thing that you see over here in the entertainment center. So God forbid you do, if you do spill something and put liquid stuff where I just said not to, it's not gonna damage the countertop. Just make sure you get everything dried up. Now over here you have household plugs, which you saw on the other side, but you also have some USBs. And another very Jayco thing is this handy little floating storage ottoman. And I love to stuff it right there because suddenly to me it feels like an L lounge and I like that. I like that I can sit on the rear sofa and kick my feet out and obviously the that bench can move, you know. It's great for like uh, little 
guest storage space. Like, if you've got, um, what I mean by that, like, little grandkid games or something like that. Or, frankly, if you just want a place to keep your board games, if you're a board game enthusiast, you got a good spot for that, too. All of the windows over here on the door side of the RV. So you have awesome views and visibility of your site. And this has dual power awnings, as we see when we go outside. So even, uh, you know, on just a general drizzly day, you can keep those, uh, you know, awnings open. And you can look out here. If someone's kind of moseying inside and outside, maybe you're doing a little grilling outdoors or something. So you're not smoking out the inside of the RV. You can still have a, a cool view of everything that's happening. And if you're paying attention, you might have noticed that table just grew a couple inches thanks to that little extension. But what's nice is it's a true comfortable experience for four adults thanks to that no knee knocker dining arrangement that they have right there. Very similar to what you might find in like a diesel pusher. And they've been doing this in the towable business for a while, but it's nice to see it anytime I do. It's It costs a little more than a conventional table, but it's also... Uh, I, I think, personally, a little nicer. Fold-away guest chairs can easily hide in the front closet or under the master bed. Now, over here in the kitchen area, a couple things. You can see the high-rise sink. You can see the stainless sink. I, I don't think I need to really spend a lot of time explaining those. Um, but that extra little faucet right there. This RV has its own separate drinking water system, totally separate from the freshwater holding tanks. So you don't have to spend a, uh, a lot of uh, you know, I'll actually more money on bottled water and lose storage space doing it because you can take the basically the jug this thing has. It looks like a five gallon Culligan jug, which is probably pretty seriously close to what it actually is. Um, and you can take that just about anywhere and fill up water. And when you do that by the gallon that way, it is way less expensive than even bottled water which costs less than pop, which I'm in Michigan, I call it pop. I know a lot of you call it soda or a Coke, and that's fine, but I'm in Michigan. Buddy, up here it's pop, and soda is what you use to bake cakes. <laughs> and so far we've just talked all about the living space of this thing, but the kitchen's no joke. The, this kitchen's actually very good. Um, and that's kind of like, this is very similar in layout to a 321 RSTS Jayco Eagle, but it's like a, it's like a Super Eagle. It's taller, it's bigger, larger fridge, bigger storage, convection microwave. Everything is the next level beyond. And that's, I think, an awesome identity for the North Point to have. That's something that I felt the North Point lacked previously was identity. And they've really, really defined themselves this year as something that I, I like... Mr. Halet's been into Montana the last couple of years. I could very easily see him and Mrs. Halet in this rig right here specifically. I think this would really speak to them. But uh, neither here nor there. Plywood full extension drawers, even under that larger 22-inch oven. So if you want to wake up and make some biscuits or cookies, you got the perfect little spot to do it. Good prep space here. And there are outlets uh, under the overhead cabinet space there. Normally in a fifth wheel, I'm not a super fan of those. But because this overhead cabinet comes down so low... I think appliance cords will still reach just fine. I think I mentioned that is a convection microwave, by the way. Pretty sure I did. Solid counters. Mentioned the big 18 cubic foot gas electric fridge freezer. Then over here, it's like the storage just keeps on going. And uh, <laughs> it just never quits. That coffee bar right there, by the way, is perfectly suited to be able to handle like a, a Keurig coffee maker. It's sized just so. Now on the steps as we go up toward the bath uh, area, there's your um, central vacuum hookup as well as the, uh, what am I wanting to say here? Toe kick, sorry. I saw somebody about to come in and uh, I had to lock that briefly. One of the other employees here, I'm not locking the door on a customer. So we've got our max air vent fan switch here where it's easy to reach. Our BM control system also. Anything that you can do right off of uh, this panel, you can do off your phone, which is cool. But you don't have to do a couple key things. For instance, if you uh, want to mess with the lighting, you don't have to, like, touch the screen, go to the lights, you don't have to blah, blah, blah. It's easy. Although, by the way, these are all still dimmer switch lights. It's just a little more obvious and easy to operate them in that capacity now. But other than just the handy lights, you got this over here. So if I want to select the slides, if I want to select the awnings, um, the uh, I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do without needing to get fancy. We have this RV outfitted with the roof solar package, 
And uh, if you find a North Point equipped with it, this is where you'd find the charge control telling us right now we got 12 volt or 12.5 volts of power still in reserve coming off the battery, even though I have every single light in this coach just screaming right now. Now the uh, bathroom. There's two different decors available here in these North Points. Very similar to what you might have seen, say, in our J Feathers. There's the modern farmhouse, which is what we're looking at. Then there is the cashmere cottage. And no matter which of those you get, you will always have a farmhouse bathroom and a cashmere bedroom. So that darker wood tone that we've seen in the living room, that's basically what cashmere looks like, by the way. My boss makes me stress the word cash in cashmere, um, I, I, I think for obvious reasons. <laughs> Great linen storage and everything in here. Uh, porcelain stool with tons of space. And you can see that easy entry, uh, seamless shower, complete with seat naturally. You might have noticed there's also height adjustable uh, hardware in that shower. I mentioned it, but I do want you to get to see it. The uh, larger Max Air vent fan that we have up here. And something else you might have noticed if you're really paying attention. It's easy to miss, but I talked about upper accent lighting. But you might see how this has lower accent lighting, and they're all on one switch, which is very, very cool. Pinnacle started doing that a couple years ago. I love it here in North Point, because if you wake up at night, you need to navigate the RV, or a guest needs to navigate the RV, you easily can without disturbing family, friends, partners, hey, seeing yourself in the mirror and going, ah! Something like that. I've, I've done that. That's why I mentioned it. It is a thing that I've done. Dual 15,000 BTU airs, by the way. So you have a total of 30,000 BTUs of cooling power. And up here is where that vaulted ceiling really comes into play. Most manufacturers will say, if you want to, you could upgrade to one of these little hotspot internet LTE jobs. Jayco says, why make the customer do it? Why don't we just do it so that it's done? And frankly... If, I, I mean, if that's something you're interested in, just do it like this where Jayco's already installed it because now they've warranted the install. At a glance, the upper deck of this is like, you're like, oh, it's the same as the 377 North Point. It's close. It's very close. There's a couple key things. If you're really looking when you walk in here, you go, good gravy, this is a big bedroom. That's because they're using an extra deep bed slide that they don't do on all of their other models. So you do have a larger uh, bedroom area there. You can see the larger slide side windows is also another little key point there. And that means more room to stand, more room to get dressed, and just more room to feel open and comfortable, frankly. Oh, oh, geez. I should have talked about this in the living room. I think I meant to and I forgot. If you look at that little uh, switch right there next to the window, there's another one where I'm standing. And it's cool. If we want to turn off our bedroom lights, the lights overhead within the slide, we can do that. But each one of these switches is different. They have a different context due to their location. So the switch that I'm standing next to will let me operate the bed slide. But if you're sitting in the bed, you don't want to operate the bed slide. That one can operate things like your outside lights for security purposes. So every one of those switches is slightly different to really zero in on the, the needs of that location. And you know what? Normally I would slide this door open, but I already left it open. So here we go. We walk in the closet. Kind of a, uh, uh, you know, thing one and thing two kind of closet you can see. And it's very symmetrical, which is neat. You've got the same sort of dresser storage on both sides. I, I think my mom would probably use that as like a shoe garage up front within the nose cap there. And there's four separated hanging bars. So maybe you have like uh, dresses or something tall that you want to hang here. And you have short things like pants and shirts. You can split them over here. But if you wanted to hang those dresses, you could remove that bar so that it's not interfering with anything. Or don't. I mean, just whatever works for you. Of course, we're stackable, washer, dryer ready. And as I back up here, you can see that uh, the phrase I used earlier today on that mid-bunk North Point that I filmed was, the things that other brands do as options, North Points do standard such as that downward-facing TV, so that even in the bedroom you have a no-neck record TV. And once again, Jayco did the install for you. You don't have to try to figure a way out after market. Below the master bed, we get that big drop frame storage compartment, some TV hookups on the bottom right, and there's that, basically, Culligan jug for the freshwater drinking system. Up top here, you can see the aluminum framework, which is cool, but you also see a direct venting heat duct here into just the storage compartment. Not to mention, you know, the separate layers of, like, you got the radiant barrier separating the upper deck from the cargo. The cargo area is then heated. And then we have yet another layer of, like, a thermal breakup, basically. You have a, uh, you know, your floor of the pass-through. And 
it has its own insulation, radiant barrier, heating, etc. And you see that little feed port right there. Like if you do use some uh, outside TV hookups here, uh, it's fully skirted. That skirt wraps around all the way to the frame rail, so there's no thermal gaps. Little cold water cleanup sprayer port over here hiding behind that door, by the way. But you can see how this is a zero G stable step pointing its way up toward those uh, optional protective slide awnings there. Note too that extra large handle for coming in and out easily. And I'm not at a good angle here to show it, and uh, unfortunately, but that is a taller, wider door. It's not just 30 inches wide, but it's also six and a half foot tall, so it's like a residential height door, which is great. The uh, paint accents on this nose cap, good gravy. They just look absolutely fantastic. Down below we have our More Ride pin box, which is item number one of our five-star handling system. Goes right hand in hand with the More Ride suspension and the Goodyear Endurance like beast radial tires, those giant radials that you see on these, rated for 87 miles per hour but only at 80 PSI. A lot of people actually asked years ago, Jayco used Goodyear uh, tires and then they quit. And everyone's like, why'd you quit using Goodyear's? One of the tricks behind them is they used to require like up to 120 pounds of pressure, which you can't just like stop at a gas station and get 120 PSI pump. You have to go to like an industrial tire shop to do that, which is not usually located where you can whip a fifth wheel around. So they, they uh, swapped over to what we're seeing here. Now, that is a 10 gallon water heater, gas electric, uh, simultaneous fast recharge, auto ignition, all that good stuff. Gives us over 20 gallons of hot water per hour from that 10 gallon tank. And the uh, compartment over here, uh, heat, uh, or pardon me, all heated and closed protected gate valves in our you know sewer dumps. Auto leveling system, which you can connect to on your phone. And uh, what's cool about that is if you want to raise and lower the nose of the RV without ever, um, you know, getting out of the RV or out of your vehicle, you can. So it's really handy for getting hitched up or unhooking. And as long as we're down here, might as well look at the underbelly. I've already discussed it's enclosed, heated. North Points are and always have been since before it's North Point when it's still just called Eagle, the bigger Eagle Premier, um, zero two hundred degree rated. But if you know, you haven't been following the RV industry for the last 10 years. There you go, you're caught up. Congratulations. These have had a six point automatic leveling system for the past several seasons. It is now a six point hydraulic auto leveling, which a lot of people are going to like because it moves faster. It's just a uh, quicker setup and break time from your campsite. But the reason Ed Jayco was so slow to adopt it is because they wanted to find a supplier whose hydraulic fluid wouldn't freeze and gel up if it was cold outside. And they finally did. It was Dexter who, you know, here Dexter like in relation to axles, but they do more than just axles. They're one of those companies though that whatever they do, they do it really, really well. This has the J-Smart lighting system. If you're not familiar with that, it stands for signals, markers, and reverse travel. So if we flip on the right hand turn signal, the, uh, the tail light will blink, you know, to indicate where you're going and that's normal, but all side marker lights will also blink along with that to give people an idea of what you're doing. Also has backup lighting. Uh, we like to add the optional uh, two inch receiver hitch onto the back of these to, uh, you know, let you add things like bike racks without voiding the industry's best and most comprehensive two plus three year warranty. There's just no one else that's doing a two plus three like Jayco is here. And real quick, before we hop upstairs, I want to point out dual power awnings for maximum patio space. And once again, all those windows over here on the campsite. And up top here on top of their Magnum Trust XL6 roof system, which maybe doesn't mean much to you, but it's uh, got a six inch double vaulted set of trusses which gives us this thing, uh, along with the plywood roof decking versus common OSB decking, the heaviest load rating available within this class category price point, however you want to slice it up. We are looking at the optional Overlander solar package, a 190 watt uh, solar system that uh, mathematically, playing the game of averages, will give the average owner indefinite uh, use of your 12 volt systems, meaning uh, you can use it pretty much as long as much as you want. It's not like, oh, it's going to kill the battery after 55 hours. You could spend in, uh, basically forever in this RV using your 12 volt systems normally and it will keep you topped off. And the big black bucket that you're looking at to the left of the front bedroom air conditioner, that is your Weingard TV antenna. And anytime you see that black bucket, the RV is capable of accepting an LTE system. Just remember, Jayco went ahead and they already did it for you. How cool is that? And as you can see, 
<laughs> we have a lot to choose from here at Haylodari. North Points, Montana's, Eagles, Cougars, Open Ranges, Rockwoods, and a partridge in a pear tree, plus some other things that haven't made landfall yet. I don't know where we're going to park them, so <laughs> come and get them. That's, honestly, I think that's our plan this year. I think we over-ordered, and we are just... We're just hoping to sell stuff off as new stuff comes in. So, give us a call. We need some parking space. We'll make deals happen right now. We always do. That's why we're the largest independent store in the state of Michigan. But, you might have a little bit of an advantage. <laughs> so take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.